This is the face when your mechanic tells you, hey, you need a new injector computer. It's not working. All the injectors are setting off that they're no good. But hey, have no fear. That's what we're here for, right? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, uh, 05 International 4300 DT466. Customer complains that after he hits bumps and all that, his truck turns off. Uh, and we found the problem. I'll show you what it is. First of all, you have to make sure you undo your batteries first, okay? Uh, you can do the negatives, that's fine. Uh, always verify always verify that the truck has no no electricity going to it. That, that, that one, it has no electricity because that one's always on red. Okay, next, uh, when I checked the scanner, it told me that all six injectors are missing or bad. Okay, so then I come over here and one, first of all, this is bad right here, okay? We're gonna fix this right here. Okay, so now we have loosened this up. I had to pause the video because uh, I still don't have my glasses. If I have my glasses, the video would be like this, guys. Everything I see, you guys see. So then I'll open up right here. Uh, my fuse box is not supposed to be here. So I move the fuse box out the way, as you can tell. And I'll start looking in the bottom before I go into changing the uh, any injectors or anything. Uh, you see anything weird? Guess what? We do see something weird. What do we see weird here? This right here. This is not supposed to. And then we go here and go in here. And it's not for that one, it's for this one. And guess what that fuse is for in that relay? It's for the IDM power relay. Well, guess what? Your injectors are fine, your scanner is fine. I mean, your your uh, injector computer is fine. All it is is your relay coming off because it's losing power through here. See that? And it's coming off. I can tell the customer's been, uh, I guess the customer kind of noticed and put some white on it. And he told me, hey, I have to be pushing this thing back in. So that's what the issue with this truck is. 05 International 4300 DT466. Okay, so I don't have this kind of wire. This wire is pretty thick. The only wire I have is this kind. That's it. You can tell, uh, I think this is a, I'm not sure what gauge that is, but what I'm doing, once again, I brought this out and I'm just gonna start sealing it in. I shrank the first one with the little hit shrinker. So I'm fixing it into another one and I'm gonna put at least about probably three or four of them. That way it has a good insulation and then we'll fix the connector here shortly. Okay, so there it is. I put four of them, one, two, three, and four. Uh, just for those of you that are gonna do it at home, the size is seven. Uh, this is it. This is the size. Uh, where's my finger? Okay, seven by forty-five. Seven by forty-five millimeter. This is what this is. Okay, and I put four of them because I don't have this kind of wire. This wire is pretty thick. That's the smallest one that I have. And uh, I'm just gonna reopen this a little bit more, and hopefully it doesn't come out on the customer anymore. All right, and that's it. So it's not your IDM injector uh, computer. Okay, so uh, put a little strap around it. And now I'm trying to pull on it. it doesn't come off. Whenever you push this back in, uh, actually when you push your IDM relay, push this down, but at the same time, hold this wire, hold the wire in, like push it forward like that, push it in and push both of them at the same time. That way when you push the relay in, it doesn't push the cable out, okay? So uh, hopefully that doesn't come out anymore, but uh, to what it does but it's not the IDM relay I mean not the IDM computer